Hi everyone, I'm myself Dr. Gyaneshwar, Academician in Electronics and Communication Engineering. This is the first video in the uh, Cadence Vechishu series. In this particular video, I'm going to uh, verify the VI characteristics of NMOS transistor uh, using Cadence of Vechishu tools. Okay, uh, let us verify uh, the characteristics of NMOS in uh, Cadence Vechishu tool. Uh, for that, I'm going to create uh, one folder here with the name demo. Creating a new folder with the demo. So, right click on this particular demo folder and press open in terminal. So here we need to type the command csh and then you give the path of the uh, uh, cadence uh, cadence tools to open uh, this particular uh, vachiso you type uh, vachiso then uh, it will open uh, one cds uh, window it will take a while to open Uh, then just to maximize it and go to file here we need to create one uh, our own library this is a one time process you need not to create uh, every time but first time you have to create library and give your library name to your library here i am giving uh, tech uh, 180 and uh, I click on attach existing technology library and apply Okay. Okay. Uh, you have to add uh, technology library that is uh, GPDK 180. You can add 190 also, but uh, here I am adding uh, 180. Okay. Press OK and uh, close this. Now you created uh, our own. Uh, technology library now we are going to open cell view first you have to select uh, the technology library what i have created and then we have to give the cell name as we are going to check the nmos characteristics that's why you need to uh, give the name accordingly that nmos underscore tb means test bin means we are testing it that's why giving tb so uh, you can give any name so it will open a schematic window where you can create your uh, experimental setup uh, or circuit uh, here. So, uh, first of all, you need to uh, import the things and press uh, I button shortcut key to open the uh, instance. So, go to browse. Go to browse and uh, select uh, GPDK 180. Here you will search for the NMOS. And uh, close it and hide. Then just uh, you drop this particular NMOS here. So to come out of that from the uh, that mode just press escape after that you can zoom in and zoom out using these particular options so again we need some sources so again press i button press go to browse analog library type VDC we required uh, DC sources so VDC press D VDC now you drop these sources we require two sources that's why click two times on the screen at different places 
now press escape now we required ground again go to browse analog library then search for ground gnd select the ground and place the ground press escape now you connect all these uh, components with wire further you simply press w otherwise you can click this one also it is a wide wire it is a narrow wire shortcut key is a w then simply connect according to our experimental setup simply click at the terminals it is automatically uh, connect and you need to connect the substrate to a uh, source terminal so this will complete the schema now we need to uh, select the source go to properties and uh, give the vgs value because gate to source and here you will give vds select this one and uh, go to properties and then you give the name vds now check and save if any errors are there they, they are prompted in the uh, command window that is cdl window no errors are found so schematic uh, is completed now we have to verify the characteristics for that go to adl window from that launch copy from cell view and you will get your inputs pds and vgs so here i'm giving vgs as a maximum of a 1.8 and vds also 1.8 now go to the setup and you have to add the model libraries you select this 180 nanometers model library third one and also change the state to nn normal normal configuration we are using and apply and okay So go to the analysis, choose. Here we are going to do the DC analysis. Press DC. Save operating system point, operating point, and uh, so uh, go to design variables or component, whatever it is. You can select design variable. So select. First, I want to draw the input characteristics, so that I have to select VGS as my design variable and i want to sweep that value from 0 to 1.8 volts then apply okay go to outputs so go to to be saved or to be plotted whatever whatever it is so I want to so DC so you make sure that plot and save are clicked now I'm going to simulate this Okay, now you can see I have an input characteristic curve for a one value VDS value of 1.8 volts for different values of VGS I have this ID curve so you can change this curve styles you can change the width you make it thick 
and you can make it uh, different uh, based on your uh, requirement and you can do that you can make it dots like that you can change this characteristics you can uh, verify so if you want to add some markers also just simply press v button it will add a vertical marker so that you can see for which voltage of vgs and how much current is flowing similarly you can also add some horizontal marker also simply press h button to get this marker so you can easily uh, analyze the different currents and uh, voltages now i am closing this i am going to ideal window now what i want to do is i want to get the multiple curves that are different values of vds i want to get the input curves so that i'm selecting and uh, going to tools and parametric analysis there i am selecting vds that means that vds will start from 0 to 1.8 and uh, I want to increment that value, VDS value oh, in a linearly, a linear wise, so that I'm selecting linear steps and I'm taking the step size of uh, say 0 0.2, 0 0.2, or 0, okay, 0 0.2, then I am rerunning the simulation. Now you can see this family of curves. The different values of VDS, I got the relationship between the VGS and ID. So these are the, all the points, different values of this one. So if you want to change this color styles with the color and the, all those things, very easily. Now you can also save these results uh, in a PDF as well. Go to the file, go to print and I am saving uh, the same folder. I am going to change some name here. So print uh, uh, I want to do that input uh, characteristics input characteristics and print okay so now you can go to that particular location and uh, verify whether the PDF is created or not now I'm going to demo so now you can see input cap so you can see this particular uh, waveform input waveforms Now come to uh, ideal window. Now I want to uh, simulate the uh, output characteristics. Just I'm closing the simulation because completed input cuts completed. Now what I want to do is I want to generate uh, output. So for that, what I have to do is I need to change it to VGS. This time I have to different values of VGS are required. And I have to change at uh, analysis because there we have used the VGS. Now we have to use this as a VDC, sorry, VDS. Okay. 
okay then this other way of doing it you can select command and you can select that one from input uh, from the output select the edc okay now now run the simulation so now you can see this output characteristics here you can see the waveforms for different values of uh, VGS we have the curves between VDC and ID. Now you can see. Now uh, we see all this. If you expand this particular thing, you can get. See, you can select all these curves to modify the uh, properties with the color and what the patterns you can easily change here so this one this simulations also can be easily uh, export to pdf as we uh, done for the input characteristics now you can verify those characters saved here in the next video let us see how to implement a cmos inverter in a, a schematic editor of a cadence and uh, simulate the uh, transient and uh, DC uh, characteristics of the inverter. Thank you.